Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to another recipe test. Today, I'm going to be making some magic coffee cream. It's called magic because it only contains three ingredients and none of those are eggs or cream. So no dairy, no eggs, typical emulsifiers, typical foam makers to make this luscious coffee mousse-like foam that you can use to top brownies, cupcakes, coffee, desserts, tiramisu, all of these wonderful things by using these magic ingredients. So this was brought to my attention by lovely Dolores. Dolores, thank you so much for getting in touch with me and for sharing this with me because I had no idea. She sent me a link to a Spanish YouTube video, which I will include in the description down below, that shows you how to combine instant coffee powder with a bit of sugar, or actually a lot of sugar, and water to create this luscious frosting-like topping. It sounds incredible and it looks more amazing when you see it happen. It just kind of foams up and becomes this gorgeous topping. And it doesn't seem to collapse over time, which is absolutely fascinating to me. It looks like it could be a meringue topping, but there's no eggs in here. It looks like it could be whipped cream, but there's no dairy in this. So. I just have to make this because I want to know more about the science about how this works. So I consulted my favorite food scientist, Harold McGee. Of course, I don't know Harold in person, but <laughs> I do have his book on food and cooking. This is a great book if you're at all interested in the science behind food. And sure enough, if I go to the back here and look up foams, it sends me to 638.39, which is right here. Now this is very interesting because Harold talks about how foams are created and essentially foams are a combination of air bubbles and water. So you've got an air bubble and you've got water, but you've got two opposing densities, right? Air is very light and water is very dense. The water flows down, the air floats up, and then your bubble thins out and pop, right? Love that. So when you have a foam, you have lots of these little tiny, tiny bubbles all stacked upon each other. So there are different ways to stabilize a foam. So one of the ways is to actually thicken the material. So the water doesn't move around so much on your film. And so the bubbles are less likely to pop. Another way to strengthen your foam is to stabilize the interface or where the bubbles meet. So if you can strengthen that, give a little bit more rigidity to the interface and to the actual walls of your bubble, then your foam will be strengthened and more stable. So I think this is where this comes into play. These little micro particles of coffee act to stabilize the walls of the bubbles. Foam stabilizers include the microscopic particles in purees, proteins, thickening carbohydrates like starch, pectin, and gums. So I think that's what this is going to do. The little micro particles of the instant coffee are actually gonna provide some stability, primarily at the interface or where the bubbles touch. So it's gonna, those little micro particles are kinda of shore up those little linkages, making the foam more stable. So, sounds good, right? So let's go ahead and see if this actually works. I'm using this brand, Nescafe Classico, and it is instant coffee and it's important that it's instant coffee crystals. This was $7.99 at my grocery store. This is going to be very straightforward. We're going to need 20 grams or about one third of a cup of instant coffee crystals right into the bowl of our mixer. Next we're going to add 200 grams of granulated sugar or about one cup. Give this a little mix. So this morning I went to the grocery store to pick up some of these coffee crystals and I was driving along and I heard the song blinded by the light and I said what didn't anyone question that what he's singing sounds like wrecked up like a douche in the roller in the night I know he's not saying douche but all I can think is douche 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 in that song apparently I had to of course look up the lyrics is she was blinded by the light rubbed up like a deuce which is a deuce coupe a very fast car I'm like oh I knew he was saying deuce, but I thought it was rack up like a deuce in the roller in the night. I thought it was had to do with like gambling or like rolling deuces or something. Yeah. Apparently that song was written by Bruce Springsteen. No idea. Learning new things every day, people. New things every day. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this. We're gonna take our whisk, put this right here. 160 milliliters of cold water. 
Now this water must be very cold, icy cold. And then on high speed. Oops, why isn't this going on? Hello? So we're gonna do this for about a minute and a half. Here we go. It's totally working. I'm gonna scrape down the sides a little bit, but it's totally thickening. Oh my gosh, it's so great. Okay, this is incredible. This is magic. It totally works. So cool. So we probably beat this for a total of maybe three minutes and look what happens. Isn't that incredible? Look how, look how luscious this is. Amazing. It looks like the most beautiful shiny meringue, but there are no eggs in this. This is some kind of magic. Look at how light and fluffy that is. Let's give this beautiful concoction a taste. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Oh my gosh, it has a beautifully light, foamy texture. It's sweet, it has a nice coffee flavor to it. It doesn't taste rich though. There's none of that kind of dairied richness that comes from whipping whipped cream. It doesn't have that creamy flavor to it. It has a nice coffee flavor and it's sweet. This apparently can also be made without the sugar if you want it to be keto friendly it still will have this great fluffy texture but it will not be sweet wow hmm there's a little bit of graininess a little slight detectable graininess when you kind of chomp on it a little bit there's a little bit of graininess from the sugar but very nice luscious beautiful consistency I think this would be delicious on top of coffee. So what I'm gonna do is treat this like a seven minute frosting. I'm gonna pipe this onto brownies. I'm gonna come and check on these in a couple hours and see how stable it looks after a couple of hours. Cause right now it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that, so impressive. I've got myself a piping bag here, but I actually have no tip on here, just a plain open piping bag. Cause I just want a nice swirl. So, oh my gosh. I cannot get over how beautiful the consistency of this is. Amazing. Oopsie. Let's go ahead and see how this pipes. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, beautifully. Except my piping bag has a fart in it. So stinking cute. I'm gonna do a few more of these. So this is much lighter than a typical frosting. It's much more like a mousse. There we go. Alrighty, so now that we have an army of these made, let's go ahead and give them a taste. I'm gonna let one of these sit out and see after a couple hours how they do. Here we go. Eat the ducky malls. Mmm. Coffee and chocolate are such good friends. Such a great combination of coffee and chocolate. Like the little bitter notes in the coffee are echoed in the chocolate and the sweetness of the chocolate goes really well 
with the flavor of the coffee. All of it is a great combination. It is very, very sweet. The topping itself is a little bit sweeter than, say, whipped cream, but not as sweet as a buttercream frosting. And what's really different and what I really appreciate is the texture is very different than buttercream frosting. Much more like a meringue, rather than being kind of heavy and dense like a buttercream frosting, it's much lighter and has little tiny, tiny bubbles in it that are just really delightful. I like that lightness, especially if you're having something like a brownie bite, which gets pretty dense down below. Mm. <laughs> oh, cute. Mm -hmm. Real cute. <laughs> So it has been confirmed. You can indeed take coffee crystals, instant coffee crystals, combine it with sugar and cold water to create this beautiful whipped mousse-like topping that contains no dairy, no eggs, and you can adjust this to contain no sugar as well. Although it would be quite bitter, I imagine, because you just have the coffee flavoring. But if you're having it with a dessert like a brownie, you probably wouldn't even miss it because the brownie is so sweet. I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.